I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you examples on rate of change. The question here is, a cylindrical tank has a radius of 3 meters and a depth of 10 meters. It is being filled at a rate of 5 meter cube per minute. How fast is the surface rising? Let's try to understand. Let's say this is the cylinder. <clears throat> Now it's given to us that it has a radius of 3 meters. So this is the radius and we'll write this as 3 meters and has a depth of 10 meters. And we'll say the depth is 10 meters. It is being filled at the rate of 5 meter cube per minute. That means volume, right? So dV dt is constant and it is 5 meter cube per minute. So at times if there is a confusion, look for units. They will give you what we are working on. Meter cube is volume, minute is time. Okay. <clears throat> How fast is the surface rising? Okay. At any time, that means. So <clears throat> since it is a cylinder, it will be a constant rate at which it rises. So let's say at any time t, that is the surface and we are interested in rising, that means change of height, that's what it is, correct? So let's see, we have understood the question. So what we have here is a cylinder, we're talking about volume. So what is the formula which relates volume of cylinder with radius and height? It is pi r square h, right? Pi r square h. <clears throat> now we have two variables here r is constant where r in this case is constant it is 3 meters so r is not a variable actually it is constant you could replace r with 3 so in this case volume will be pi 3 square since r is 3 3 square h and we can write this as 9 pi h. That simplifies. And that is the reason why we are not saying how fast is the surface rising when the height is whatever, right? Now, that's a very simple equation to work with. We can differentiate both sides with respect to time, right? Differentiate with respect to time. Now, that is implicit differentiation. So, we get d dt of volume <coughs> d dt of 9 pi h right so we get dv dt as equals to 9 pi is constant and dh dt is it okay dh dt so that is the expression since we need to find the rate of change of height we can rearrange this equation and write dh dt is equal to 1 over 9 pi times dv dt, right? So that becomes the formula. dv dt is known to us, which is 5. So we can substitute that. So we have 9 pi in the denominator times 5. So the answer is 5 over 9 pi. And the units will be height is in meters meters per minute is it okay so we get our answer <clears throat> that is the rate of change of surface i mean surface rising is equal to 5 over 9 pi meters per minute right so i hope that helps you to understand the concept so in this list we'll have a few examples on cones rectangles distance speed and different kinds of rate of change to give you good practice and I hope that will prepare you for your test. Thank you and all the best.